Hi everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the daily message for the collective. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. This reading could play out over the next several days. This reading may or may not be for you. This reading is not sign specific. Although I will call out any zodiac signs that I do see in the reading. Um, keep in mind, guys, um, not every reading is going to be for you. So please do only take with you the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. So we do have a transit today when it comes to the astrology. We do have Mercury conjunct Pluto. So I feel the energy can be quite intense. I do feel a lot of depth when it comes to emotional thinking and our communication. So I think... This really is the perfect time to get to the bottom of an issue that maybe you've been needing to address that you haven't wanted to bring to the surface. I do feel a lot of mental clutter in the energies today and I do feel a deep psychological self-analysis is needed when it comes to this transit. So I think get ready to transcend any physical limitations um, as you kind of step into some spiritual transformation. I do think maybe... You might be in contact with some of your ancestors in the energy. I do feel the veil is very, very thin today. So take a step back, relax if the energy is quite intense, um, because I think you might be dealing with somebody that's a little overbearing, and I think maybe you're going to be staring right into somebody's soul in the energies today. But let's see what needs to come through with the cards, guys. If you have not already done so, do feel free uh, to hit that subscribe button below and let's see what kind of a message needs to come through for the collective today. I'm going to start off by using the tea leaf deck and the cards are talking August come through. So you could be dealing with a Leo or something around the month of August that is coming back around now to be addressed. Maybe as we go into Aquarius season. So something about that Lion's Gate portal, that A8 portal in August, I feel is coming back around to be addressed because there's some affairs stemming around your family that are needing to be brought up. And I think you might be dealing with somebody acting like a turkey, acting really stupid in the energies because I think there's a need for you to really take care or you might be experiencing a huge material loss in the energies today whatever problems are arising with today's transit there will be a successful outcome maybe you're not going to feel that successful outcome until february um i think major changes in the wind i think somebody's blowing smoke out their ass today um and and they're trying to create problems that are going to need resolution so maybe you're going to need to seek some advice from a loyal friend, but I do think get ready to part ways with somebody um, in the energies today, whether this is a romantic relationship or a business partnership, but there is a broken commitment and I do feel somebody is acting stupidly, so pay attention. I think you're about to receive some good news and maybe you've been waiting for this news since August of, of you know, last summer, but let's see what else needs to come through. Something about February coming back around to be dealt with as well. But um, let's see what else needs to come through. Intuition come out in reverse. So I feel somebody has been um, lacking, trusting in their intuition. And if you have been feeling um, this gut feeling about a certain situation coming up to be addressed, I think you're kind of right because... There's a there's about to be a major obstruction with this turkey, with this ass acting really stupidly. I think get ready to face a roadblock um, when it comes to the energies with today's transit because this, this obstruction, I feel, is likely to trigger a soul awakening, especially when it comes to that astrology transit. So I feel an awakening of consciousness around your soul's true identity. Um, is happening right now. Uh, I think many are coming into this awakening because we're all here to kind of join in part as part of this massive global awakening as we kind of inch further into the golden age of Aquarius. So get ready to purge and cleanse. I do feel somebody here is going to experience a huge loss of material wealth because some elements of your life can't remain the same. It's time to purge these negative people negative behaviors and circumstances it's time to release 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 because there's going to be a soul awakening a heart chakra activation a heart awakening 
and you are maybe needing to offer forgiveness and compassion to somebody. Trust your intuition. Your higher self knows what is best for you. Don't ignore that gut intuition because I think you need to protect yourself from this turkey, this person acting foolishly, really childish energy, very immature. And there is a need um, for some boundaries, some very firm, energetic, emotional, and physical boundaries. So get ready to disconnect from a very toxic situation. You might need to take a step back uh, take a reprieve um, to go through some healing rejuvenation after you face this major life challenge. Um, I think you're ready to experience upheaval in your life in, in order for you to step into this healing journey and look at this challenge as an opportunity for improvement and growth because I think somebody here is getting ready to step into living their soul's purpose and wherever they've been at. I think it's been toxic. I think it's been codependent. And I think there is going to be a major parting of the ways as somebody comes into this awakening, this greater awareness and steps into their greater purpose for this lifetime. Embrace this change. Embrace this change and remember that you are here to demonstrate love and compassion in everything that you do. So if you are experiencing um, that very fragmented mental clutter, I do highly recommend going into meditation in order to open up the gateway and the channels of communication from spirit. Um, daily meditation practice is always recommended. I um, instill that practice every morning and every night before bed, and it really does help you align with your purpose and to connect with your guides. So meditation is going to allow you to break free and transcend from these limitations. So relax, get out of the head, get into the heart because there is a heart chakra awakening in the energies today. And when we do go through that initial awakening, we do have that need for energetic boundaries, energetic protection, because when all of that light comes in, it also brings in all of the darkness. So disconnect from any negativity, any chaotic drama, it's really time to purge and cleanse your life of these obstructions and these limitations and these roadblocks. But let's see what else needs to come through with the Energy Oracle deck. When it comes to this message today, what else do we need to be aware of? Yin Yang, um, mastering lesson. I think somebody does have the opportunity to walk through the gateway of a brand new experience. And I think balance um, when it comes to some inner union energy, there is a woman holding a heart here. I don't think she's given her heart away yet, and she's got big, big love to give. And maybe there's a need to release any fear about stepping into a newfound connection, a new heartfelt connection. And I think stepping into healing, I do feel this soul awakening is bringing forward a lot of Christ conscious light code activations. Jesus code, um, stepping into compassion, healing, releasing any fear and stepping into illumination. I think a lot of third eye chakra activations with the transit today and there is a need for balance. There is a need to honor your own inner masculine and feminine energies and to bring that into balance. I feel with the soul awakening, there's a lot of ancient Egyptian timeline um, activations coming through when it comes to some Akashic memories and there is a need to walk through the gateway of this new experience. Somebody's got the key around their neck and all they got to do is turn the key and walk through the gateway um, of this brand new abundant experience is what I'm feeling. So let's see what needs to come through with the psychic tarot when it comes to today's message. Oh, that one went flying, guys. Hope. Maybe somebody's been feeling hopeless, but I think somebody here is hoping for a brand new beginning in love. I do feel somebody is ready to come forward with an offer to, with an offer to bring that over here, honey. Um, to take back authority of their life, the emperor. Right here, honey, right here, honey. Right here. Oh, my my daughter's home, guys. So give me one second. Let's see. Can we get it open? Oh, she's open there, Pookie. There you go. Sorry about the interruption, guys, but um, maybe you're going to be interrupted. I think get ready for an interruption. Everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. So I think get ready for a brand new beginning. I think it's time for somebody to take a leap of faith. I think some somebody's coming into some deep inner awareness, something about the crown chakra activation, a lot of downloads coming in. And I do feel a masculine um, getting ready to step forward, hoping for the best, praying for the best. 
when it comes to this woman holding a heart. So let's see what some of these influencing energies are when it comes to today's message. A lot of fours, four, four, four. Um, foundations are in focus. Protection, there is divine protection. There is a need for protection because there's about to be a major event. Somebody's been at the crossroads. I think get ready for a major loss in the energies because somebody's letting something go. There's adjacent possibilities. There's new doorways opening up. And I think somebody here is seeking loyalty, committed partnership. There's this level of purification as somebody experiences a loss of fortune, a loss of material wealth. And I think this truly is a milestone moment. You're going to come out the winner in the end because it's about acting in truth, integrity, accountability, walking the honoring path, and stepping into this newfound optimism as, as your consciousness shifts. So gratitude, what are you grateful for? I think um, it's time to live a life of gratitude. And I do feel a lot of spiritual communication coming through with all of the birds stemming around this woman holding a heart, this loving woman. Maybe somebody here is hiding their their motivations when it comes to maybe coming forward and you're really needing to trust in your higher self because there is a kindred partnership at play today and somebody is stuck in a situation where they're lacking love, they're lacking reciprocity. I feel they're they're just lacking this energy. I feel like they're they're bankrupt on the inside. And I think um, somebody maybe is getting ready to exact appreciation um, for this woman holding a heart. So get ready for a newfound sense of optimism. But let's see what is being evaluated when it comes to this message today. What is being evaluated in the energies today? Deep knowing. I think you're really needing to trust in your intuition. You do have a gut feeling and you know where you've been at. It's not felt like home. And somebody here just wants to go home. We got no place like home in reverse. So I do feel a deep spiritual connection here. Somebody is missing their soulmate. Somebody is missing their home. And they're getting ready to trust in this deep intuitive knowing to take action because we're at a crossroads here. Somebody's at a fork in the road needing to choose a new direction. I feel experiencing profound life change. I think maybe there's many doorways opening up and you're gonna have to choose carefully. But I think somebody's getting ready to exact appreciation, to come forward with some action, some passionate action. We do have that yang energy because somebody's getting ready to do whatever it takes to go the distance for victory and success. So get ready for a pivot point is what I'm feeling. Let's see what needs to come through with the tarot when it comes to this message today. There is a deep knowing. Maybe somebody here is needing to seek some spiritual counsel. Maybe somebody has received some bad advice from a friend. And this truly has created a lot of issues to be resolved. Somebody here is blowing smoke is what I feel. But uh, let's see what needs to come through in the energies today with the tarot. What else do we need to be aware of? Prince of Swords Rebirth. Get ready to deliver or receive a message you don't want to hear is what I'm feeling because it's time for some truth to be spoken, some illumination to be had. I do feel maybe children are involved. There is the ending of a false contract here with the Six of Cups reverse. So I think somebody's getting ready to use that sword to break free from a situation that just isn't working. There's no more harmony. There's no more growth. It's an unrequited love situation. We do have the King of Cups in reverse. There's a, there's a closed heart here when it comes to a foundation. There's not any love here coming from this King of Cups in reverse. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Leo. But the central energy is a foundation, is a legacy, this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, foundations are in focus today. And I think somebody's been in a false foundation. And I feel um, there is a contract coming to a close. And there is a need to disconnect from an energy where there's really no love left there. I think this is stemming around some core wounding. We just got the Nine of Wands out. So I kind of feel kundalini activation in the energies and that flipped out. Um, there's been a lack of healing. I do feel there is a new beginning here, but somebody is feeling hopeless, trying to find the strength to, to gather their courage to come forward for a new beginning. So 
With this Nine of Wands, he's got the Five of Wands behind him, the Three of Wands in front of him. Normally, the Nine of Wands is depicted with Eight Wands behind and him holding that Ace of Wands. So, oh, Four of Wands, pardon me. So, foundations are in focus and that, that one wand with the snake around it. So, I do feel like a Kundalini activation, a newfound reinvigoration, passion for life. I feel putting the struggles behind putting the fight behind. I think somebody's in a foundation where there's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of imbalances. This person doesn't have any love left to give. I really only see a masculine energy coming through. So I think somebody is getting ready to speak this truth that they're just not happy in a foundation. And they're going to be going through a spiral of events, I feel, because the time is now to learn a core lesson when it comes to some repeated patterns, when it comes to a core wound on the inside, some trauma and wounding. I thought I saw that card, but I guess I didn't. Um, but I think somebody here is feeling hopeless. Maybe they want a reconciliation um, with a soulmate connection. I think they're trying to seek some hope, some drive, some determination to take action. But um, let's keep going here and see what this six of cups reversed is eight of swords so there's somebody been in in a, in a committed partnership i feel um laser focused on something from the past i do feel um a committed partnership that feels like a trap maybe somebody got lured into a connection and now they're feeling like there's no way out lacking that strength to come forward i feel lacking the drive to do what it takes to take that appropriate action in a new direction. And there is going to be a shift in consciousness today. When it comes to these energies, what is this Prince of Swords reversed, please? Five of Swords reversed, Four of Cups reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, get ready for a fight. Get ready for a battle. I feel this power struggle, tug of war energy. And I do feel somebody's been in a situation gripping to control and i feel this huge release because somebody wants to come back from a missed opportunity from the past i feel so releasing manipulation releasing self-deception maybe somebody's been lying to themselves pretending to be happy in a situation that really has caused a lot of grief pain and heartache and i do feel somebody is laser focused on going back to the past for a missed opportunity king of cups we get the seven of pentacles the princess of pentacles and the two of swords so i feel yeah there's a fight there's been a major injustice here there's been a block to a brand new beginning in love i feel get ready for a heart awakening i feel an emotional breakdown and i feel there's been blocks somebody's not wanted to look at this truth that has been denied and the time is now to learn something new, to go in a new direction. Um, get ready for a brand new beginning, a clean slate, because somebody's been juggling indecision at this crossroads for quite some time. And I feel there is a lot of financial struggles. Although it may appear solid on the outside, this foundation, there's no love here. There's no growth. I do feel financial stability is dwindling. The energy is very desolate and there is a need to go in a new direction to learn something new. I do feel a major um, karmic rebalancing. Maybe this masculine is experiencing some harsh karmic repercussions, but um, the blocks are being removed is what I'm feeling. So what is this 10 of pentacles? Four of wands, um, nine of pentacles reversed, eight of wands reversed, seven of cups reversed, queen of cups. Yeah, I think... There's been blocked communication. I feel there was fear about maybe giving up some independence when it comes to a soulmate connection. We do have a true pair on the board, but I feel this has been emotionally denied. And I think get ready for illusions to be shattered. I do feel truth and clarity as somebody is coming out of a deep state of disillusionment. They've been all trapped up in their head looping round and round in this fear energy when it comes to taking action i feel all up in their ego very cowardice energy and i think there is going to be a major argument today you're gonna have to defend yourself i do feel a feminine energy here that is very vindictive very spiteful um wants to win at all costs 
And I think she knows she's in a foundation where somebody is laser focused on another person, um, their true soulmate. So I think get ready to receive a message. There is a lot of truth and clarity coming forward. When it comes to this imbalance, there is going to be a karmic rebalancing here. Um, could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aquarius, a Libra. Um, you could also be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Taurus. Doesn't have to be, but that's kind of what I'm seeing here. There is going to be a lot of truth spoken as somebody purges and cleanses their life of this negativity and steps into the deep healing journey. So what is this star reversed about? The lovers, the fool reversed, uh, the hanged man. So yeah, I think somebody walked away from ultimate fulfillment in the past and I feel um, it's time for rigorous honesty, authenticity. Um, somebody I feel is naked in this truth. And somebody here is feeling very, very foolish. And there is going to be an unexpected choice in love with the lovers. And I think there's fear about coming forward. I think they're they're losing hope that maybe there can be a reconciliation because somebody did something very foolish, foolish behavior. And there is going to be a shift in consciousness, a major lesson learned. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Pisces, or an Aries. But there is, without a doubt, a hard karmic reset in the energies today. So let's see what else needs to come through with the crystal stone deck. Wow. Broken ring, parting of the waist, leaving one situation and stepping towards a committed partnership with a deep spiritual soulmate when it comes to the lovers. I do feel a, an awakening without a doubt in the energies with the serpentine. That's that kundalini activation coming through. So it's time to release all of this lingering drama. I do feel meditation is going to allow you to concentrate this very powerful kundalini energy um, from the base to the spine to the crown of the head. And I, um, I remember when that energy was activated in me and it was um, very intense. So I think um, spiritual treatment is needed with this activated energy. And I think it's time now to rip off that proverbial band-aid. The time is now to make this unexpected choice in love. I think you might need to regroup. I do feel a lot of upheaval in the energy as somebody is powering up their vitals. I kind of feel maybe somebody here is completely drained by a soul sucking, um, a soul sucking vampire. Maybe a Capricorn is what I'm hearing. Capricorn. Um, I I do feel um, it's time to bring this to the surface. I do feel Christ code activations are coming through today. There's without a doubt somebody here that has been completely bled dry financially, physically, energetically, and um, they need some nourishment. I think somebody's getting ready to face this challenge head on without a doubt um, because it's time for them to power up their vitals and to do the spiritual work that they came here to do. So I do feel this deep underlying melancholy within a toxic situation. And somebody I think is hell bent to bring somebody down to the gutter. I feel a very karmic energy here, a very vengeful, vindictive energy here that just wants to bring somebody down to gutter level. And I do feel this crisis energy coming through in order for you to deepen your perception. I think it's time to clean up this mess. There's a major wake up call in the energy today in order for somebody to find their inner confidence, to take action in a new direction. I feel time to drown out that mental clutter, all of that mental stimulation, um, and to make mindful choices when it comes to, to the future. So I think somebody's been looking deep within and their reality is shifting, their thought processing is shifting, and they're getting ready to come back into alignment. So get ready to receive a message as somebody breaks free from a very dramatic uh, situation, stepping into owning their spiritual truth and their spiritual self. And that's kind of what I got for a message today, guys. I hope this resonated. If it did and you would like to book a personal reading, please feel free to check out the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.